back for another video today is tuesday so you know what that means dollar tree tuesday and i'm including five and below yes guys i had to go back up there and see what else i could get also pick up some things that i should have gotten last time but i didn't really want to get them so i'm including them in this haul today with my dollar tree items if you're new to my channel please take a moment to hit the subscription button below i do make weekly videos be it hauls life updates vlogs just about anything that comes to mind so if you're interested in watching my videos then make sure you hit the subscription button below so that you can stay tuned and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're updated every time that i upload also if you are returning to my channel thank you guys for coming back it's good to see you guys even though you know i can't really see you but yeah you know what i'm saying anyhow let's get into the video i did go by my favorite dollar tree as you know recently i've been kind of on the outs with the Dollar Tree because they really haven't been having anything new. But I did manage to find some things that I did want and some things that I felt as though were pretty new. Well, new to me, probably old to you. So the first thing I got was this little shadow box frame that says, keep it simple. I think I'm just gonna put this in the bathroom somewhere or probably in the hallway where you can see it on your way out of the door. I don't know, I just thought that it was cute. I like the little catchphrase, keep it simple. Sometimes your life is a little bit easier when you keep it simple and you need a reminder. So I thought that that was a good find. It's cute, has a little gold accent. And next I picked up this, this Wet n Wild Polish and Lipstick Set. It's supposed to be the Silk Finish Lipstick and the Wild Shine Nail Liquor. Now, I don't really know what color lipstick this is, but they did have, um, I think it was like four different colors. They had a brighter red and a, like another berry color with a couple different other color lipsticks. I was gonna try this lipstick because I prefer nudes whenever I wear a lipstick shade. And I do not have any um, nail lacquers that are this color, so. It's worth a try. I only picked up one because I really didn't care for the other colors. But if you're looking for anything like this, they're perfect to grab and, um, grab and put into like a little gift bag or build up your collection. And it is the Wet n Wild set. The Wet n Wild brand, rather. Next, I picked up a mug. Those of you who know me know that I am a tea drinker and every now and then I do enjoy a good cup of coffee and this one says the best time to drink coffee is now. I thought that that was pretty cute. I like the little um, porcelain detailing of that. That didn't make any sense. Porcelain detailing. Oh goodness. Well, it is a porcelain mug as you know but I like the little etching. I'm not sure if you could tell that that's like it's not painted on. It's like almost like I don't know. You could feel the indentions. That's what I'm trying to say. You get the point. But they have several of these with several different sayings. I just like this one the best. And I only found one. They probably have met a couple other Dollar Trees. Let me know if you have been able to find that one or the ones like that. Last at the Dollar Tree. Sorry guys. I'm moving all the paper. I picked up two of these. And I'm gonna use these in the bathroom for cotton balls and um, Q-tips. I thought these were really cute. They only had a few of them. The third one that I wanted to get was cracked, so did not get that one. But it has a nice little lid to it. and I just thought that these are really cute and simple. And I wanna change over the accessories in my bathroom anyway, so perfect timing, just go ahead and pick these up. Whenever you're redoing like bathrooms and all that, it's nice to find something that's nice and neutral that you can add to anything. So this one will probably, if I put it in the bathroom, be in the downstairs bathroom. These will be upstairs because this goes more with what I already have going on up here. Whereas downstairs, I really don't have anything going on and it's, I might as well just start with some type of palette. So gold and black it is. 
and that's it for the Dollar Tree like I said I didn't really find much but I'm glad that I did not waste a trip this week and hopefully you guys see something that you might be interested in picking up at your local Dollar Tree and um, yeah let me know if you do find any of those items I always ask you guys to leave a comment I need you guys to start leaving comments in my videos I do reply back and um, let me know if there's anything that you want me to try and hunt down as well because I will go on a little adventure and see if I can find it. Let's see. Moving on to Five and Below. It says cool stuff from a dollar to five dollars. So far, they have proven that. First, I got a three in one camera lens set. And this is supposed to be compatible with um, all smartphones and tablets. So being that I vlog and film from my iPhone, I'm gonna see if this is actually real. So perhaps next time I do another vlog, I'll go ahead and attach this and see if it makes a difference. It has um, three lenses, the fisheye, wide angle, and the macro lens. And it's supposed to be detachable universal lens clip by the brand um, UC. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Correct me if I am wrong. It was $5. It's worth a try. If it doesn't work, then I guess we'll know. So for $5 for, you know, a component that I will otherwise be paying $15, $20 for, I'm all for it. Next, I picked up another throw blanket. In my previous um, Five Below vlog, you saw that I picked up the gray and cream one. So this right here is the navy and cream one. I'm not sure how that's coming off on camera, but it's the navy and cream one. And it's the same size, 50 by 60. And they had a few of these left. I didn't see any of the um, pink and cream ones left, but I did see this one. So I went ahead and grabbed it while I could. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the closet so that I could be prepared for when the weather changes in the fall and the winter time and it's also just nice to have extra blankets anyway because you never know when you're going to need one and I am making such a mess Oof. next a step stool I have needed one of these for a while and I got one. So yeah, this is a folding step stool. They had them in the gray, navy, and white is what I saw. I believe those are the only three colors that I saw. And of course it's $5 safety certified because I'm only five foot one and I'm always climbing up on the counters to get everything in. I need a step stool so why not get one this fits easily in between my fridge and the cabinet so that I can put it away for safekeeping and storage and pull it out whenever I need to and yeah it's a nice nice heavy little tool too lastly I got two of these um, printed rugs cotton printed rugs and I will insert a clip right now of how it looks on the floor. Okay, so I threw this down on the floor so that you guys could see the size of it. And it is a pretty nice size rug, as you guys can see. Um, I backed it up from the doorway so it doesn't get snatched by the door. I'm gonna get one of the um, those sticky pads that you put under rugs so that it doesn't move out of place. And I think I'm just gonna line them up together so that I could get basically a runner out of So the as you can rugs. see, um, it's a very nice size rug. And what I plan to do is to line these up just um, lengthwise and basically make a runner. I'm gonna go and pick up, probably at Home Depot, they have like the little mat that you put up under your rugs, the slip resistant mats, so that it doesn't move around or whatever. But I really like the size of this rug. They had this in um, this color blue not sure if you can really see that but they had it in this color blue and also this muted like it's like a grayish sage green color but i like the neutral color of this i like the size of this i like the pattern of this and i also like the material it's almost like a um canvas like material but it is cotton 
and I think that it's a good um, accent piece to add downstairs because I'm very simple. I like muted colors. I like um, neutral colors and I could always pop you know either golds or silvers off of this as well as any other solid color that I choose to add into my decor and I need something on that floor because I don't really want a rug up under my dining room table because the area is not really I don't know it just doesn't look right in that area you walk through and you have this long hallway and they have my dining room table that's just sitting down so I rather have something that's running from the door all the way through to the living room carpet that could like kind of cut that um, cut that area up a little bit so yeah anyway I went with these they had these they were five dollars and they also had do you remember the old-fashioned um, rugs where they would take random sheets of material and roll them up and stitch them together I don't know I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about but they had those two I like those my grandmother always had them my mom always had them but when I saw these I went ahead and picked these up because I like them better and for five dollars great price great size and i think it's a great rug let me know if you had this and if you like it if it washed well if it wore well and where you decide to put yours if you decide to put it in um your living room dining room or a bedroom so yeah anyhow that is my haul for the day and i think i let a fly in when i was down there taking the video for the rug on the floor yes i sure did but um, anyhow, thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far and you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscription button below and go ahead and join the J. Raymond family here on YouTube. As usual, make sure that you have a beautiful day and a beautiful life. Bye.